In daily life, and especially in sports, one emotion which everyone had to face is fear. To some fear is a bigger, and to some a less problem, but in general fear becomes an obstacle everyone needs to overcome at one point in life. And fear can drive people differently. They are the ones who crumble under it, and the ones that get stronger and become so-called clutch players. Players that become special for their team at the end of the game, whenever they are needed the most. And then there's this person I'm going to talk about in this video today, who kinda does both. The man we are going to analyze is Aoshi Tokimitsu. Tokimitsu. Alongside many other Blue members, when he was shown in the entrance room of Blue Lock for the first time. Tokimitsu is an introverted forward who was first probably introduced in the second selection as the number 3 player alongside Ario and Rin. Together, they formed the top 3 of Blue Lock. So, what is so special about Tokimitsu's skills and his personality? Let's talk about his personality first. Tokimitsu is timid and has a very meek personality and consistently suffers from a distinct lack of self confidence which is something that can annoy his opponents, like for example Babu very much. Wait until we're all at Denied! Get into position or I'll kill you. <laughs> his anxiety often hits the moments where Tokimitsu is focused and forced to perform. So it mostly seems like Tokimitsu isn't able to perform due to his high stress he's experiencing, which can quickly lead to opponents underestimating him. Due to his muscular physique, which is insanely strong, Tokimitsu probably is the strongest player in Blue Lock and was even able to beat Baru in this category. With his strength, Tokimitsu can use his shoulder to charge past an opponent or to block them off from the ball, making him a good target to hold the ball and set up further players. Furthermore, Tokimitsu is also known for his quickness, with and without the ball. With the ball, Tokimitsu is able to do quick feints and sharp turns to dribble past his opponents at a rapid pace. Especially in combination with his strength, Tokimitsu is almost impossible to stop if your pace and strength isn't great enough. Like Raichi, he has unlimited stamina, and mostly during a high-level match, players become tired so their performance starts to become weaker at the end of the match. But Tokimitsu is different. His stamina and high endurance allow him to perform at almost full capacity, and in the second selection between Team White and Red, every player started to struggle due to their lack of stamina. Except for one. Tokimitsu. Ren recognized this and used this to his advantage to break through Team White's formation, forcing Chigiri and Bauer from Team White to stop Tokimitsu with illegal fouls. Tokimitsu therefore has the skills to be a clutch player at the end of a game, doesn't matter if it's in the offense by scoring a goal or in the defense by saving his team with a deciding tackle. Nevertheless, this is where Tokimitsu's weakness and anxiety comes into play once again. Tokimitsu doesn't have the mindset and thought of himself being a game-changing player, which is the reason why he wouldn't be able to decide a game by himself at the end of the match, although he has the skills to do so, which is the reason why he needs a strategist, like Rin for example, who is capable of using his skills in the right way. Tokimitsu is also a big football facts nerd and is able to provide his teammates with facts and information about a whole range of different footballers. He was also the one who instantly recognized workers players like the top 5 or local talents like Nishioka who is known as Aomori's Messi. So in general, you could say that Tokimitsu for sure has the skills and knowledge to work as a coach or assistant one day as the man is just the definition of a big football encyclopedia. But although Tokimitsu probably has the greatest physique in Blue Lock, even someone like him needs to improve his physique and especially his mentality to be able to compete against World Cup players in the future, as he got totally bodied by England's top scorer Adam Blake, who is especially known for his physique, which is something English football is known for. In the third selection, Tokimitsu was a part of Team A, and I like how Ario joined Team A as well, as Rin was the leader of the team, so top 3 once again stick together as one team. And maybe Tokimitsu knows as well that Rin is the right person to bring out his full potential. Or maybe he's just scared and feels safe with Rin as his teammate. Unfortunately, Tokimitsu wasn't a starter in the match against U20 and was benched for the whole match, which is quite sad that a former top 3 member wasn't able to play at least some minutes against U20. For the new Eagles League, Tokimitsu decided to join PXG and Team France, and once again is in the same team as Rin. A true Rin follower till the end. We didn't get to see PXG play so far, since they are the last team which Izagi and Best at Munich will face in Neo Eagles League, but I'm very sure that Tokimitsu will play against Best at Munich and will also have improved his physique and quickness. I don't think though that his mentality is ever going to change, as it's just part of his personality and character, but we will see. Personally, I think that Tokimitsu can play a major role in the future Japanese team, but I don't think as a starter though. Nevertheless, I see him in a competition with Raichi, who is more focused on man marking and in general a defensive player, while Tokimitsu can also be used in the offense. So, what do you think about Tokimitsu? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, stay safe.
and have a nice day.